the real time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Visit rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. Today's real estate market, the unicorns that have galloped off. Comparing real estate metrics from one year to another can be challenging in a normal housing market. That's due to possible variability in the market, making the comparison less meaningful or accurate. Unpredictable events can have a significant impact on the circumstances and outcomes being compared. Comparing this year's numbers to the two unicorn years we just experienced is almost worthless. By unicorn, this is the less common definition of the word, something that is greatly desired but difficult or impossible to find, unquote. The pandemic profoundly changed real estate over the last few years. The demand for a home of our own skyrocketed and people needed a home office and big backyard. Waves of first-time and second-home buyers entered the market. Already low mortgage rates were driven to historic lows. The forbearance plan all but eliminated foreclosures. Home values reached appreciation levels never seen before. It was a market that forever had been greatly desired, but difficult or impossible to find. A unicorn year. Now things are getting back to normal. The unicorns have galloped off comparing today's market To those years makes no sense. Here are three examples. Buyer demand is the first one. If you look at the headlines, you'd think there aren't any buyers out there. We still sell over 10,000 houses a day in the United States. Of course, buyer demand is down from the two unicorn years, but according to Showing Time, if we compare it to normal years, 2017 to 2019, we can see that buyer activity is still strong. And let's take a look at that if you're watching us on ronsingradio.tv, any of our socials, or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed. Showing traffic is above the unicorn years. Showing index for March over the last seven years. Now, yeah, the unicorn years was, was way higher, but 2023 for the, year, for the month of March, It was above 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017 by at least, well, it looks like over 2020, it was like 50% higher, double, uh, 100% higher, doubled. So it was significantly higher. Home prices can't compare today's home price increases to the last couple of years, according to Freddie Mac. 2020 and 2021 each had historic appreciation numbers. We've got a graph for that one also showing the normal years, 2017 to 2019. Percent of annual home appreciation returning to more normal pre-unicorn years. So according again, according to Freddie Mac, 2020 property value is up 11 percent. 2021 up 18 percent. Right now for 2022 up 5 percent. Well, how does that compare to 2019? 4 percent. 2018 5 percent. So it was the same. 2017, 7%. A little off, but still very similar. We can see that we're returning to more normal home value increases. There were several months of minimal depreciation in the second, second half of 2022. However, according to Fannie Mae, the market has returned to more normal appreciation in the first quarter of the current year. Let's take a look at foreclosures. There have already been some startling headlines about the percentage increases in foreclosure filings. Of course, the percentages are going to be up. There are increases over historically low foreclosure rates. We've got a graph with information from Adam, a property data provider. One million fewer foreclosures during the unicorn years. Well, of course there was. There was a moratorium on foreclosures. So let's take a look. 2022, there was 324,000. But go back to 2019, there was 493,000. 2018, 624,000. 2017, 676,000. So we're about a little under half of where we were in 2017. There will be an increase over the numbers of the last three years now that the moratorium on foreclosures has ended. There are homeowners who lose their home to foreclosure every year, and it's heartbreaking for those families. But if we put the current numbers into perspective, we realize that we're actually going back to the normal filings from 2017 to 2019 
And as I mentioned, if you've got that notice of default, you don't have to go through the foreclosure. Give us a call. Investors are available to help you out of the problem. Bottom line, there will be very unsettling headlines around the housing market this year. Most will come from inappropriate comparisons to the unicorn years. Give me a call at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Let's solve the problem. That's what we do on Ron Single Radio. Let's solve that problem for you. Again, real-time real estate brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com.